there are many games that we would love to show but no longer have. If you have a copy of a game that you think could be a classic, please get in touch with WSCS TV at 920-459-6663 and maybe we can get that game into our next classic series. De Pere was a favorite to win conference, and if North wanted to challenge for the title, they would need to prove they could beat the big boys. North had the lead throughout most of the first half and led at halftime 33-31. Free throws, as they do many times, would have a bearing on the outcome. Watch and find out who would be affected most. It would take three overtimes to determine a winner. The very end of the game is exciting. Don't miss it. Chris Wright is my partner and does his usual astute job of analyzing the action. Now it's time to get a soda and a bowl of popcorn and to sit back and enjoy the game. We're at North High School where tonight the Raiders take on undefeated De Pere. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris, so we switched over from the southeast game to come over here on the north side to watch the Raiders play De Pere. For good reason, both teams are state ranked. And north and De Pere, both undefeated. Well, you're talking about two of the teams that have been the better teams over the uh, last few years. Last year, De Pere uh, tied for the conference, went all the way to the state you know, championship game and lost a very tough game in triple overtime on an unfortunate air by a player who called timeout when they didn't have any. And... Uh, Sheboygan North finished third last year, and uh, we got some good players. We have Devin Yerk from Sheboygan North, who played the year a year ago. And then, of course, uh, uh, just a bunch of good players for De Pere, starting with uh, Brett Vandenberg, who's uh, ranked number 10 in the state uh, as far as players are concerned. You also have a guy by the name of Jordan Poydras, who's a 6'3 guard. Uh, those two guys return as starters from last year's squad. Uh, those 6'6 uh, six, six guys are going to be uh, a load to handle for the shorter north team tonight. Well, there's no question. When you look at the roster, you know, it's incredible. And everybody I've talked to before the game, wow, are they big, 6'6", 6'4", 6'3", 6'5", 6'5", 6'4". And then you go to Sheboygan North, and we go 6'4", 6'2", 6'2". So obviously you got athletic driving guards against the bigger perimeter guys or big post players of the pier and how that turns out. A couple weeks ago we were here and we watched Sheboygan North play and we saw Luke Belmore just pick up a ton of offensive rebounds. We saw a Green Bay East team that was one and done and Sheboygan North's going to have to do the same thing tonight. One of the things that we've noticed uh, over the last couple of years with Devin Yurk is uh, he loves to go to the left and for some reason teams are just not able to force him to the right, and if you allow him to go left, he's going to do a lot of creating. Yeah, he is, and I mean, I think Devin's an outstanding player. He's ranked number 26 in the, in the state, but the games he struggled against last year were against the Pier at Bayport, at Schwabenon, some of the teams with some of the bigger frontline guys, and if he wants to progress into college, uh, playing against these bigger type players like this, you're going to have to really uh, be outstanding, and and there's no question that he's going to have to count on a lot of points from him tonight. And uh, Ethan Gusky, who's, you know, yeah, he's averaging uh, 13 points a game, but he hasn't really gone off yet this year. I expect one of those two are going to have to go off for uh, North to have success. Last time we were here, uh, North had a very slow start, didn't get the lead over Green Bay East until uh, almost at the buzzer of the uh, second quarter, right before halftime. They can't afford to do that tonight. No, they can't, and they didn't shoot free throws very well, and this is a very good free throw shooting team, I think. They struggled at the free throw line there, and that's going to be better. And Obviously, Shaq France is another young man, number 23, who's going to have to have a big, big game. He had a big double-double a couple weeks ago, so he's going to have to be counted on to get those extra opportunities as well. All right, with that, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's basketball game. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. 
People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. And the Sheboygan North High Running Back at Raiders, North High School, they're getting ready to do Tom the introductions. Let's listen to Tom Here's Bill Horsch as he does Rams. the introductions. First, for the Redbirds from De Pere, number 12, Jordan Poydras. Number 20, Adam Beyer. Number 23, Brett Vandenberg. Number 32, Spencer Mokarski. And number 52, Caden Coleman. And now the starting lineup for your very own Sheboygan North High Running Raiders. Number three, Ethan Gusky. Number 11, Devin Yerk. Number 21, Luke Belmore. Number 23, Shaquille Francis. Number 31, Reed Conter. Conter is starting tonight uh, in Tonight's place of uh, Alex Manning. Signed by the Fox River Classic Conference are Tom Hunink and Todd Van Es. All right, starting uh, the officials tonight, you may have heard him right at the end. Tom Hunick standing at center court, and Todd Van Ness with the ball on the sideline. Good crowd tonight. Probably the second best game in the city <laughs> between that and uh, Oostburg Lutheran. Right, Francis will be jumping center against uh, Vandenberg. Starters for uh, De Pere go 6'3", 6'5", 6'6", 6'2", and 6'6". They are very tall. Francis jumped the ball and got the tap. Eric has it. Man-to-man -man defense by De Pere. And a good call. Francis on the turnover. North applying full court pressure. Uh, Bayer bringing it up against Yurik. North, of course, in a man to man defense. Oh, pass inside to Vandenberg for an easy two. Way too easy, Marty. Way too easy. There's a mix up on the defense there. Francis almost had it tipped away. Showed good hands there. Yerk bounced it on the line, had it tipped away, got it back, but then he bounced it on the line. Two trips, two turnovers. This is where I think North's gonna have to create easy opportunities, get turnovers and then baskets. You gotta use that press. Fire right down the middle. A good save by uh, Francis, and he threw it off a De Pere player. North will have it. Bayer's going to make uh, Yurik work, Chris. <clears throat> Belmore being guarded by Poydras. Contra looked like he might have had a look, but good cover up defense instead. He takes it to the hoop and scores. Two to two. Reed coming in at eight points a game. Four Raiders in double figures and four Redbirds. Eric Wiesman running camera up here. Vandenberg cuts down the lane, kicks it back out to Bayer. His rainbow shot is no good. Putback is good by Coleman. And a steal. Floyd dress. Good. 6-2, six minutes. Those were the Locked kind down. of things we were hoping would happen for the Northsiders. Another turnover. 
Yurik was looking for somebody to flash in the middle of the lane, but it didn't happen. Vandenberg couldn't get it. Tip no good. Another tip. Conter finally comes away with it. And again, looking for Belmore to run the court. He did not, and Yurik threw it away. Well, we haven't seen a North team this disjointed in a long time, Chris. No, Devin, four early turnovers in three, two and a half minutes. Not handling the pressure early. Nervous at home. Fire gives it off to uh, Poydras. And uh, illegal screen set by Vandenberg, but no call. That's deep. Looks like Belmore's barely getting away with that carry, Chris. Back door cut. There's where the height paid big dividends for the Redbirds. Oh, wow. Gusky in the wrong place at the wrong time gets called for the foul. Five minutes remaining in the first quarter. It's six to two, De Pere. They've had a pretty good start. Uh, North has uh, been piling up the turnovers early on. They should be lucky they're only down six to two. Vandenberg working on Conter and then tried to kick it out and Gusky with the good hands and he lost it out of bounds. <clears throat> Not that there's ever a good turnover but uh, that was the hustle variety. Fire on a little bit of a bust out. They got numbers and he goes right down Main Street and lays it in. Oh, he's got to take a charge. Eight to two. Conter couldn't get it to go. And Belmore was on the line first. Spencer Mokarski uh, applying the pressure inside and he's coming out, checking in is Brett Marshall, number 22. He's six two also. One big hit to another one. Yeah, really. Well, Belmore on a bad foul. Ameister coming in. Yurik now has a poi dress. That'll be a good matchup, Chris. Three point attempt is no good. Yurik down the lane gets fouled. Bayer on the foul is first. First team foul on De Pierre. Pretty long streak there, Chris, of uh, not scoring. Finally broken by a free throw by Devin Yurk. Four oh three remaining in the first. It's eight to four. De Pierre. Yurk outside the line. Couldn't get it. Rebound by Vandenberg. And wide open is Coleman. He lays it up and in. Ten points already. The Pier averaging 76 a game. North 72 a game. Wow. They got uh, Poydras for a kick, but I'll tell you, the ball inadvertently bounced on his foot. That, I think that was a bad call. Good for the north side, though. Yep. Just 10 to 4. As bad as they're playing, they're still right there, Marty. Francis. There you go. 
Had it blocked by Vandenberg. Good defense, uh, pardon me, by Coleman. Good defense played by that young man. De Pere making it very tough for uh, North to drive the lane. Which they had to do to be successful, Marty. Keep North out of the lane, drive and kick. You gotta start with the drive part. Hammeister, got it, three pointer. That was deep, Marty. <laughs> now you're just down by three. Good hands inside, goes off a uh, De Pere player. Byer, I believe that was, and North is gonna have it back with a chance to tie. 10-7, 3.08. Sorry, Marty, I was gonna say, De Pere has four, too, turnovers. North only has four? No, De Pere. <laughs> oh, no, but I meant, okay, I see what you got. I got yeah, you now. North has six. Gusky from way downtown, he nails it. Just like that, we're tied. 10-10. Ten under three minutes. Good help by Hammeister. Poydress open. He nails a three. Missed his first two, hit that one. 13 to 10. De Pere. Conter wanted to, but uh, covered up by the defender, Marshall. Francis. Off a nice pass, laid it up and in. 13 to 12, De Pere still on top. They're looking to dump inside, but uh, good defense played by uh, Yerk. Contra trying to force him left. Oh. Francis with the block, Hammeister with the save, but right to Bayer. Oh, good hands by the Northsiders, Chris. A lot of action underneath the basket, and North comes away with it with a chance to take the lead. Yurk, uh, pardon me, Gusky, no wow, good. That's way deep. But Yurk comes away with the board. And nice drive to the basket by Devin Yurk, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line again. Minute 16 left. Chance to get the lead. Foul goes on uh, Caden Coleman, his first. Yerk was two for two his last trip. Alec Menning coming in for uh, Reed Conter. It's almost like a hockey game. New line coming in. Chris, they're shooting their free throws much better so far tonight. Four for four. To. Oh. That was smart basketball that time by De Pere. Poydras from outside the line, no good, but he's fouled. Oh boy. What did we get oh. here? Yeah, That's a, a foul. Second. Falls on Bayer, his second. Oh, they're calling it on Marshall instead. That's his first. That's too bad. Under a minute, 14 to 13 north. That's got to be a foul there. Francis couldn't get it, but he's fouled. Well, they're doing what they need to do now, Marty. They're starting to drive and get in there. When they drive in there, they're getting fouled. What happened on the other end of the court, Chris, that I noticed was uh, Yurik went over to a double team Mokarski, and he was guarding, pardon me, he was guarding Mokarski, and he cut right to the basket when his defender left. That's why he was so wide open. And I thought it was a smart play on his part to uh, 
go to the hoop like that. Francis on a 0 for 2 trip there. Oh, there's a oh, travel, not a travel. called. Of course, they might say the ball was tipped away. And there was nobody there. <laughs> Everybody was watching the uh, Belmore run into the screen. Newhouse uh, double teamed. Ball's tipped out of bounds. There's 23.7 seconds remaining in the quarter. North is up 14 to 13. I don't understand this. You give your starters a break, right, with a minute and 15 left. They're going to have a break for a timeout in a minute. So I, it was kind of strange how DePere played that. Vandenberg and Bayer back in. Four of the five starters for DePere back in. North has three. Oh, threw it away. Gusky has it with under 10 seconds. Chetty nails one at the buzzer. Alec Menning, 17 to 13 at the end of one quarter of play. I am a Packer fan. And we're Packers, Packers fans. fans. Hi, I'm David Collins, superintendent of the Wisconsin State Patrol. Packers fans are the best fans in football. We are the ultimate team players. The ultimate team player, be the ultimate team player. Always have a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Live responsibly. Packer fans. Don't let fans drive drunk. Responsibility has its rewards. Go Packers! Go Packers! Go Packers! Getting the three point baskets for North where uh, Joe Hammeister started it off and then Gusky followed that and then right at the buzzer, Alec Menning did the uh, same thing. So good quarter for North. Started off kind of slow with a lot of turnovers. Uh, DePierre had a six point run, but North able to uh, counter that with a seven point run to end the quarter. They were down 13 to 10 and uh, ran off seven straight points, now lead. 17 to 13. Did you tell Bill Horse that we're here? Uh, no, I didn't give him a note. We'll, we'll have, have to, to do that at halftime. Yeah. Our next game is a big one. We'll be uh, right back here on Saturday night for uh, the North South games. Uh, the varsity girls will uh, start at 6, and then following that, we'll have the varsity boys. And uh, we look forward to uh, that. Those games will not be live. We are having issues with our regular equipment, and uh, things that we needed to send out to be refurbished have not come back yet. And so we'll have to go without the live broadcast. A good offensive rebound. Goes off of uh, Devin Yurk. The pier will get it back. Good hard play inside by Marshall. He kept it alive. It's 10 to 4, right, Marty? At one point, it was 10 to 4. 17 13. Four of, excuse me, three of five shooting from three point helps. Too easy. Fire to the basket for two. 17 to 15 North. Belmore looking to go to the hoop. Well, good help defense and a steal made by Mokarski. Inside to Coleman. He's deep. He's got it. 17 to 17. Wokarski with the six points. It looked like it went off of uh, Spencer Wokarski, number 32. North will keep it.
Good start to the quarter by uh, DePierre. Yeah, sit in that zone a little bit, but they're gonna keep an eye on the three-point shooters of North. Eric lean in, couldn't get it. Tap up is good by Shaquille Francis. He's had a nice year so far, Shaquille. Vandenberg uh, able to tip it and keep it. Vandenberg's been like silent today. Shouldn't have said anything. You are the kiss of death, my man. No, that wasn't him. Oh, that was Vandenberg. Oh, boy. <laughs> Waking up the dead. <laughs> Hunter. Deep. Hunter going hard to the basket. Got the shot off and drew the foul. North 6 of 13 shooting. Here now up to 9 of 19. Tie game at 19, by the way, Marty. But North shooting free throws again. Good sign. Well, they had a great start. They hit first four, and then uh, Francis missed two. And now uh, Conter has missed his first. Just two fouls on North, five on DePierre. Another double miss. Holy cow. Come on, you guys. 19 to 19, 550 remaining until halftime. Vandenberg posting up Conter, getting some help on the backside from Francis. I like it that uh, Coleman's so far from the basket. Good place for him. Good no way. Defense. Coleman had it blocked. Oh. Now Francis doesn't come down on that block. He maybe won't pick up the foul, but when he slapped down, that was a killer. As I mentioned before, DePierre coming in at 76 points a game. They've only given up 124 in their first four, 31 a game. Uh, for a MOV margin of victory, 45 points a game. Oops. North, 72 points, giving up 56. A little scared about North playing a worthy opponent. Their opponents so far this year are just 5 and 16. Ooh. So, uh, no wonder they're 4 0. They're 4 0. So, this is a big test, definitely. It's nice to have it at home. They've been at home basically all year as well. Conter had a look and took it and nailed it. How about that? Making up for the two missed free throws. 22 to 20. It's nice North to, on top. It's nice to see Reed successful. Every time I think I mention it because he got hurt in that football season. Yeah, that was uh, it's tough to, wait, to spend your uh, senior season like that. Vandenberg on a fadeaway. Yeah. Whoops. He's now two of excuse me, three of five on the night. And we're even at twos, 22. Twos are wild. Oops. Oh, good push by Belmore, but no call. Fans right below us from DePierre want a foul. Dusky gets away with a foul. And Belmore forces it to the basket and gets fouled by Mokarski. Boygan North, 19 and five a year ago. Currently ranked number nine in state. Four and oh, two and oh in the league. I told you, start watching out for that other team, Marty, that's five and oh now, Pulaski. They're also tied at the top. And another missed free throw, Marty. You're not happy. Uh, five in a row they've missed after making four in a row. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. You know, and you can't have those kinds of strings of misses when you're playing such a good team. Just doesn't work out. And they're just still Delmore ahead. Get, yeah, Unbelievable. Fillmore gets a shooter's roll on that second one. <laughs> and now they're going to call Menning on a ticky tack little holding foul. You know, That's a lot of contact first. earlier, and then they call that. 
And I, I was going to comment how they're letting them play, which is okay. Because if they're going to let them play, let them play. And you can't just call that unless he's legitimately grabbing them. Six falls on De Pure, four on North. There's a charge. Dusky taking one for the team there. Falls on Marshall. North by one. 23 to 22 with 4.15 remaining until halftime. It's been a good uh, half of basketball. Belmore taking it hard. Goes right through the defender and gets called for the offensive foul. That'll be his second. I think that was a good call, Marty. Yeah, I do too. You know. That forced the official to make a call and uh, he made a good one. Tom Hunick on that call. That was a good call. Unfortunately, that'll be two on Luke. Another young man that's having a nice season so far. It's early, long way to go in the uh, high school season. Still December. Yeah. Poydras. Coach Desatel wants a push off by uh, their guy. But uh, Yurk is gonna pick up the foul. That'll be his first. Devin was trailing a little bit. That's why it's kind of tough to give him that call. You know, if he's kind of closer in front, you might get it. But when you're trailing like that, it's gonna be a little tougher, Devin. And I'm not saying he didn't do it. Yeah, falls are evening up now. It's seven Ooh, four. A lot of on contact Depeer. there. And now seven on North. Hammeister picks up the foul. That was not a good one. No. Nope. Gotta move your feet. Bayer will be going to the line to shoot one and one. <laughs> Haven't heard much from uh, Mr. Bayer, but uh, he's had a solid half of basketball. Adam Bayer, starting point guard for uh, the Redbirds. Yep, averaging 10 a game. Just a junior. Talking about a team that was in the state finals last year. Had a very good chance to beat Madison Memorial. York slides through the defense but couldn't get the layup to go. Coming away with it was Bayer and then York. Tipped it away but couldn't save it. It's going to be uh, De Pere ball. De Pere, 25-3 a year ago. As I said, tied with Bayport for the championship. North was just one game back. 3.43 remaining until halftime. De Pere on top, 24 to 23 on the strength of a couple of free throws. Vandenberg lean in. Got it. He's tough inside, Chris. Yeah. Here's where North needs to get a basket. Uh, De Pere making a bit of a run. They've scored six out of the last... Uh, Eight points on the floor. Well, they haven't hit a three for a while, Marty. Francis had it blocked. The pier comes away with it. Vandenberg showed good patience there. And Poydress drives through the lane, passes it off, but it's going to get called for the charge. Well, Contra hit that three, Marty, and they haven't had a look since. They're uh, four of six from three-point range tonight, the Raiders are, but it's been a long time since they shot one of them. Contra back in. You know, I don't think North, you know, really clicking, and they're only down by three, Marty. Well, they're not clicking because the pure play is awfully good defense. Yeah, that's true. You're, you're true. And they've missed all those free and throws. And but uh, Francis gets it back. There's a three, boom. Yerk with a long one, way outside the line. 26 to 26. Good offense played by the Redbirds. The shot is no good, but the fear comes away with it. Vandenberg, 15 footer, no good. 
And not good rebounding there by the Northsiders. Back to back. Vandenberg. You're not going to stop him. He smelled it that time. Took it right to the rack. 28-26 to Pier. Still just a two-point basket, boys. Rolling down to the two-minute mark. That could have been a charge. It could have been a trip, too. Yep. But it doesn't matter. Conter put his head down. Couldn't get the layup to go, but he does get fouled. I believe that's going to be called on Paul Colts. Driving to the basket, driving to the basket, driving to the basket. Tell you, if they make their free throws, Marty, they would... Uh, well, that five in a row really hurt. They're looking good. Conter missed uh, two earlier in the half. And misses a one and one attempt. Hey. A good back cut underneath. Uh, gusky has got to pay attention to that guy. Wide open was Colts. Vandenberg thought he got away with the walk and then uh, Gusky got it to Francis and then he was followed by Bayer and for Bayer that'll be his second. Tell you what, North's playing pretty good D2, Marty. <laughs> One of the North students up here is yelling, make your free throws. We couldn't agree anymore. Double bonus for North. Oh. Thank goodness. <laughs> Minute 28 left, and uh, we'll probably talk about that at the start of the second half. <laughs> One of the things that North needs to improve on. This will be the 13th free throw. And they've made five. 28-26 to appear on top. 120 remaining until halftime. Vandenberg, oh, nice shovel shot, got it up and in. He's just taken over in the second quarter, Marty. Ever since Chris said he was sleeping, he's uh, been yeah, I scoring. Know. I know. The rest of the team's only shot three times in the quarter, and he shot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Francis takes it home and scores. Under a minute. 30 to 28, the pier. Coleman down deep, makes a nice move, no shot. They're going to say the foul was on the floor. North catches a break there. Contra's just first foul. He's going to have to earn it with a bonus. They're calling that on Gusky, and that's going to be his second, Chris. What? I thought that was on Conter. That wasn't even near Gusky there, I thought. But it's a good substitution because Menning hit that three to end of the quarter, so you got him in here at the uh, end of the second quarter. That's a good coaching move. He's a closer. Oh, gets the roll. Put it in. DePierre coached by uh, Brian Winchester in his uh, fifth year yeah, at he's the school. North, of course, coached by uh, Tom Desitel in his 35th year. Winchester did his one of the Green Bay schools before. Under a minute, 42 seconds remaining. North down, 31 to 28. Danny Campion in the game. Make Campion an impact, open. Danny. Rainbow is good by Campion. It's 31 all. 25 seconds remaining. Vandenberg uh -oh. on a backdoor cut. Coleman rolls it in off a nice pass by Vandenberg. 33-31. Five. Yurk, no good. The pier has it. Long shot is going to be no good. And we're at halftime here at North High School with the pier on top. 33-31. the wheel. 
there is no such thing as a small distraction. A public service reminder from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Speak out against distracted driving at decidetodrive.org. Getting home for the holidays can be expensive. If you're driving, take a couple of passengers with you. They can share the driving and, more importantly, pay for gas and tolls. On a long trip, that can save you hundreds of dollars. So check out your school's ride-sharing information. It can make your holiday a lot easier on the wallet. Think smart, share smart. 25 tips to afford college. Funding provided by the Selective Service System, www.sss.gov. Back at North High School where De Pere leads at halftime by a score of 33 to 31. Uh, some scoring. Uh, De Pere is led by Brett Vandenberg, their uh, all-conference player. He had 12 points. Following him was Caden Coleman with uh, 10. Adam Beyer had 6 and Jordan Poydras had uh, 5. For uh, the Golden Raiders, they were led by uh, Devin Urich with 7. Shaquille Francis had 6. Reed Conter, five, and then a flurry of players with a three, Hameister, Manning, Campion, and Gusky, and then rounding out the scoring was Luke Belmore with one. Shooting uh, 10 of 21 for North, six of nine. Uh, I was wrong, Marty, and DePierre was just one of seven from three. I don't think Vandenberg hit a three. Uh, you know, it was interesting, your bench players for North, uh, Hameister, and Chetty and Danny Campion each were three for three with three threes. Uh, really struggling from the floor is Devin Yerk and Ethan Gusky. Yerk one of five, Gusky one of two. But they're getting to the free throw line, Marty. I like that. And they're only down by a bucket, and they got the ball. Problem is, they only made five out of thirteen free yes. throws. Yes. Yes. Vandenberg, the much taller player, guarding uh, Gusky, not allowing him to get many looks. Poydras on, uh, on uh, Yerk. Gusky with an op open look finally, but couldn't get it, and the Poydras comes out with the ball. Good hands by North. And jump ball situation. Held ball, pardon me. Uh, DePierre will get it back. Eight turnovers now on each team so far. DePierre is 14 for uh, 28 shooting. 50%. So both teams around 50%, Marty. They had a big uh, second quarter, too. Scoring 20 points, and that's uh, what propelled them into the lead. North led it the first quarter, Mark, uh, 17 to 13, but uh, DePierre scored 20 to only Norris six in the second quarter. Sometimes people wonder why teams are successful and you, know, you might have good athletes, but I'll tell you, both these teams play good defense and that's why they're gonna win a lot of games in this league. Conter still guarding uh, Vandenberg, that's a good matchup. Vandenberg the taller player, but uh, Conter's got the muscle. Poydras, open look, nails the three. It's his second three, Marty. He's two, uh, excuse me, three of seven on the floor. Two of five now from three-point range. Belmore kicks it out. Gusky, open look. Couldn't get it in. He doesn't get many open looks tonight. And uh, boy, he had a great one there, but couldn't yep. get it to go. I thought that one was money. Bayer was wide open underneath the basket for a second. Francis guarding Coleman. He kicks it out. Good extra passes. With good hands by North. 36-31, DePierre on top. Francis to the basket, couldn't get it in. Bayer with the rebound. Francis, three of seven from the floor now. That's a launch. Nice push by Coleman. <laughs> Oh, inside look, Bayer wide open, put it up and in. North calls a timeout. Good timeout there. 
Well, we talked about it at the beginning, Chris. You know, North couldn't stand to have a start like they did against East. You can't afford to have a third quarter start that's real bad either. Right. Good timeout. No big concerns. Got to keep doing what you're doing. Keep attacking the glass. If we go by the uh, last score of the half, first half, De Pere is now on a seven point run. Coleman scored a basket late, and uh, we opened the second half with a three pointer by uh, Poydras, and then uh, Bayer got the bunny shot in off a nice pass. North down seven, 38 31. Good defense by Bayer. Gusky got it. Deep three. 38-34. Now two of five is second three, and all of a sudden you're right back in there, just down by a couple buckets. It just goes to show Vandenberg's going to have to go way outside that three-point line. And that time, uh, Reed Conter just in time to tip the pass, and it went off of uh, Coleman. North will have it back. Oh my. Way outside. From the parking lot. Wow. 38 37. Wow. That's deep. That's deeper than deep. Poydras. Good time out by North before. How about that? You're going to be gathering a lead here. Yurik, nothing but net, <laughs> but it went out of bounds. 4.27 remaining in the third quarter. De Pere on top, 38-37. It's been a very entertaining basketball game. Bayer got through the defense. Shot is no good. Francis with the good board. Oh, a nice layup by Gusky under pressure. He's got the last eight points for the Raiders, and they're on top, 39-38. Coach Winchester was excited when he when North called that timeout. How do you feel now? Francis, good hustle on the D, but couldn't make the save. The pier now, all of a sudden, their uh, heads are all down, and they're looking for help, looking at coaches. Uh, I wouldn't be too concerned about that, Chris. You know, after state tournament run last year, they're gonna, they'll be uh, a force to be reckoned with all oh, game. Oh yeah, no question. Good inside-outside action. Poydras' shot is no good. Conter. Be interesting which way they call. Good call, because you know he pushed, and that's one of those you let it go, let it go, and make the right decision there. Chance to extend the lead. North on top by one. Oops. Ooh. Gusky hanging out in the wing there. He's uh, not doing a whole lot. Oh, Yurk with a leaner. Got it in. Oh, baby. 41-38, and the pier calls a timeout. 10-0 run. How about those Raiders? How about them? Well, the three-point baskets are the difference maker, and... Uh, you know, as the defender, you know, how deep are you going to go and guard Gusky? Right. I mean, you can't count on him making it. I mean, that's, that's where you got to let go a little bit. But uh, when he's hitting them. Can you say Ben Brust? <laughs> Jeez, that's deep. I just want to put a little pitch in. Uh, Chris Lenz and the uh, North High Student Council will be having their fifth annual holiday breakfast Saturday, December 17th, 9 to 12. Uh, the cost is free as long as you bring in a food item. So that's a very nice event that the... Uh, uh, North Student Council does. All their donations do go to local charities, so... Would that be steak and eggs? <laughs> <laughs> so December 17th, pancakes, eggs, sausage, pastry, fruit, and a beverage. Just for a canned good. 
Francis uh, hanging out behind Vandenberg trying to offer some help. Conter guarding him. No fouls yet here in the quarter. Ooh, I thought that was a double dribble. Good swing of the ball. Coleman had it blocked by Belmore. North comes away with it on the bust out. Francis, oh, nice pass by Yurik to Francis for an easy two. That was sweet. 43-38, North up by five, their largest lead of the game. I'll tell you right now, Vandenberg hasn't touched the ball here in the uh, third quarter down in any scoring position. North goes to their zone up by five. They like this 1-3-1. One, one. Well, that'll see. The Pierce should do some pinning. Fire. Oh. oh, he left them open and he made them pay. Well, that wasn't a pretty shot, but uh, two minutes left, two point lead north. That a boy, Reed. Double fake, but he couldn't get it to go in. I thought that was a nice move. And I thought he was going to finish. They have nobody in the block to peer. They're all on the perimeter. All these six footers, six six, six three, six four, six five, and they're all on the perimeter. Crazy. Poydras with a 12 footer, no good. Francis with a one handed scoop rebound. 130 remaining in the quarter, north up two, 43 41. Francis with four boards. Twelve three run for North. Gotta like it. Having trouble finding an opening here. Yurk off a nice pass oh. from Belmore, no good, but Conter with a strong board. Yurk right to the rack and put it up and in. 45-41. Under a minute. Good idea. Have Yurk deep. Why stand out there? North continues in the zone defense. At Vandenberg on the block now, Chris. And he got it, and he's going to get fouled. Unbelievable. You put Coleman, your 6'6 kid, out on the three-point line, and he's a house. And you put Vandenberg in there working in there. First foul with 37 seconds left in the uh, third quarter. Make him earn it. 23 fouling. 23. Whoa. They should have a rule if you can't hit the rim on the first free throw, you don't get the second one. We just give it to the other team. Start that in about second grade, Marty, would you? <laughs> Actually, you know what we do at Jefferson? If you hit the net, you got a point. <laughs> Why, you got such big holes in your net over there? And, and if you can't hit the rim, you to... get two points. If you make a basket, you get three. It doesn't matter from where you make it. Oh, oh he missed a pair. Oh, you don't see that very often. Rolling down to the uh, 32nd mark. Hammeister in the game. They're going to try to hold it here, oh, I would think. I think Gusky had a back cut, but uh, he looked pretty beat and uh, didn't complete it. 15 seconds remaining. Poydras guarding Yerk. Shot is no good. Looked like there could have been a foul call. Under 10 seconds. Oh, you call that, oh, you don't call boys. it on the other end. Come well, on. Good move by Vandenberg. Uh, I agree, Marty. I think Yurk got banged there, and then you call that one. The student section was counting it down. Three, two, one, so he shot it. And there's still 3.9 on the clock. Right oh. now it's 45-43 with three point. Oh, Chris just mentioned it, but uh, Vandenberg will get a free throw. On. For Francis, that was his uh, third foul. Ouch. That hurts. The foul hurt enough, but then to have him get his third was a double whammy. Ooh, 0 for 3. One, Yurik. Ooh. Shot at the buzzer is no good. At the end of three quarters of play, North on top, 45 43. What you doing, Dad? My favorite thing. Really, Dad? What are you doing? Paying bills. Every month a stack of them come, just as regular as the rain. What's this one? 
That's a special one, son. I pay it first. How come? It's money for my retirement account. I put some money aside each month just like I was paying a bill. Wouldn't you rather buy something? I don't want to work forever, and I don't want you to have to support me in my old age. In a way, I'm buying peace of mind. I'm on the installment plan. In JV action, uh, the Pierre defeated Sheboygan North. And uh, there you see standing on the court Matt Bands, the uh, JV coach. In freshman action, the freshman team won. Yeah, they got a two-point victory. And again, uh, thanks goes out to uh, Jim Larish for uh, providing the names of the officials for us. Uh, Hunick and uh, Van Ness, a couple of Cedar Grove, Oostburg guys. You know, it's all the same south of town, right? Yep. Eric Wiesman running the camera tonight. Thank him for his efforts. Gusky couldn't get it, had to stretch out a little bit further against the taller De Pere guys and uh, couldn't get the roll. Well, they've been playing that three-pointer, so they drove to the basket. Yurk down Main Street, up and in, and he's fouled. It was 38-31 when De Pere called timeout cheering and jumping around and since that time North has just been on fire. 12 point run before they finally hit a three in the third quarter. York's free throw is good, makes it 48-43. Francis got to be careful with that third foul. Shot is no good. Francis with the rebound. Good help defense by Belmore to cause Coleman to uh, miss the shot. Coleman in point blank range misses. And Coleman goes right back at Belmore with that block out of bounds. That's just Belmore's second shot attempt tonight. Five point lead by North equals their uh, biggest lead of the night. And then Bayer gets caught on a hold coming across the lane, and that was a good call. His, his fourth. Ouch. Ten points the game, 6 5. Good shooter, out of the game. Spencer Mokarski coming in for him. Each team sitting with two team fouls this half. 7-11 remaining in the ball game. Nice back cut. Oh. Belmore's shot is no good. He had a chance. And uh, getting pretty rough out there. Still a foul. Just one foul. Foul goes on Yurk. That'll be his second. I like it when everybody's jumping up and streaming the foul. Hey. Referee's got it. Referee's got it. Intensity has uh, been there all night. Yep. This is a big one. And. Ooh, that's a good one, too. <laughs> Timeout called by uh, De Pere as Poydras was uh, trapped on the sideline. Our next ball game will be on Saturday when we come back to Sheboygan North for the uh, North-South game. The girls' game will start at 6, boys to follow. Uh, it's, it's really a celebration of basketball. They start in the, after, in the mornings with uh, freshman games. And, and then you can come to your breakfast. And you come to the breakfast. For the student council, 9 to 12, bring a free perishable. get a, some lunch. All donations go to uh, local charities. There'll be breakfast and children craft activities and uh, live music and, we're and the big man will be here Santa so yeah, we're gonna zoom in on Ron Nitus right in the middle of your screen nodding his head yep. the glasses on big runner sitting with his running buddies Ron is a uh, pretty much a regular here at North <laughs> when he can make it pretty good crowd yeah not too bad I know the girls are playing so that's difficult Vandenberg uh, got it in the middle, but he is fouled on the catch. I think they're going to get Conter for that one. North really not in foul trouble. I know Francis got his three. The rest of the De Pere starters don't have fouls. There's only been six fouls in the whole half. Four on North and two on Pierce. So it won't be settled there necessarily at this time. North still on top, 48 to uh, 43. 
North in a zone defense. Good idea. They're packing it. Poydras under pressure, shot rimmed off. Gusky. Oh, did that hit first? If it hit first, it shouldn't be. Uh, well, if it hit first, it first went right it back to him. It should be Norris ball because the pure hit it or bounced out of bounds on the shot. Something is rotten in Denmark. Yurk with a steal, and he's fouled. I'll tell you, there's not many coaches in the state that are prepared as well as Coach Desitel, and he is taking away all their inbounds passes. All their inbounds plays, DePierre is struggling. That's coaching and scouting and teaching your kids where to be on the floor and where they're going to move. One thing I've noticed tonight with the uh, half-court defense is a very good help defense. York trying to, oh trying boy, to keep his balance, ball. and then uh, he goes up for the shot, and knocks Poydras to the, to the mat, but he's going to get the call. Wow. Poydras picks up the foul. Wow. York, uh, you're right. York caught a break there. While well, he's dribbling around scrambling, so he jumps towards the basket, and he gets a foul. That's what I say. You know, if you're going to fall down, you might as well He'll shoot, shoot it. falling down. <laughs> he's going to start getting hot here. Oh, come on, Devin. You're better than that. And he knows it. He's made five out of six. And that's not good enough. <laughs> Gal darn it, you got 15 hits in a row. Get number 16. There he is. And that's the largest lead now for North. It's 49-43. They're up by six. And I just like how North situation here in this zone. The pier has got five perimeter players with all that height. All that Brandon height, where are you going? Vandenberg trying to do something he's not real comfortable doing, and that is driving between two people and threw it out of bounds. Third turnover in the quarter, first two minutes. North is up to seven out of 15 free throws, Chris. <laughs> I'll tell you that half-court offense for uh, in that zone offense is not good for the pier. Belmore did a good stop and go and got to the hoop, but then he was fouled. That foul committed by... Uh, Brevin Pritzel. North attacking. DePierre standing around on their offensive end. Belmore comes in at 11 and a half a game. He's got just one so far tonight. Yeah, he hasn't scored much. He hasn't been real successful at the line either. Well, both defenses, uh, you know, dictate. I mean, we're not going to have a game in the 70s or 80s. He's these teams are just going to slug it out. You're going to get your high scoring games against the bottom feeders of this league, but it's a little tougher here. And am I see No, that's not right. It's not 53-43, is uh, it? It should be 51. 51-43. And it is. Get another that's rebound, boys. Oh, oh, York had it go off of his hand. Gotta like that. Brevin Pritzel shooting up a three. First shot of the game at 5.43 left. Well, you know why he did that, don't you? He's only a ninth grader. Well, I'm just saying that's what you're relying on when you're down by 10. Uh, oh, there was a clear out by Vandenberg. Caught the pass and then put it up and in. That was pretty slick. It's 8 of 12 shooting tonight. 51-45. North on top. 5.30 remaining. I'm sorry, Chris. I was just going to say Vandenberg had 10 shot attempts in the first half. He's only got two so far here. Yerk. Yerk takes him deep and scores. 53. 45. He's hit four of his last six. Three of his last four. Money time for Devin Yerk. There's the freshman again. Pritzel, a nice form Thank on you. that shot. Couldn't get it to go. And Shaq Francis comes down with the board. That's North what up I eight. You got a freshman shooting when you're down by eight. You know, he looked pretty good out there, though. I'll give him that. He may only be a freshman, but... Good maneuver down there by uh, Francis, because he was wide open, could have fired up a three, but uh, didn't. Vandenberg chasing after uh, Gusky. Rolling down to the uh, four and a half minute mark. And a tie-up. Good hustle defense by uh, Gusky and Vandenberg. DePierre will have it. Don't be afraid to keep attacking. 
Eight point lead for North, 426 left. Alec, go in. Don't go in, Alec. Just coach Chesitel. Bayer looking to get it inside, but pretty good defense in interior defense. Another, you know, they dribble, dribble, pick up the dribble, then what are they going to do? Poydras. No way. Rims off. Rebound. Oh, no, Bayer no. oh. slapped. No good. Belmore is going to pick up the foul. Oh, you can hear it up here. Yeah. Poydras, Marty. 0 for his last five. That's a good thing for the Northsiders. And two of nine from three. You know, I feel good. I feel good because they're up by seven, eight, six. Yeah, you know, if it was four or three, I'd be nervous. But I like the fact that, you know, North can handle the ball. That's the key thing right there, Chris. Getting Handling closer to bonus time. 53-47, North up six. Devin Yerk really starting to get heated up, playing well. Contra being guarded by Bayer. You know, and they don't, they're not afraid to handle the ball because you know what their offense is? It's driving to the basket. So they work on, all the kids work on ball handling all the time. Rolling so you don't down. feel uncomfortable with somebody holding the ball, Marty. Rolling down to the 330 mark. And North uh, backing their offense out even more. And a part of that is because of the defense by DePierre. Gusky wide open, fake. And he's knocked to the floor by Bayer. He'll be shooting a pair. Here's where the free throws really are important down at the end of the game. Oh, but you ran off 45 seconds. Right, but you still want to come away with points, yep. right? Yep, come away with some points. Had an opportunity. Ethan playing a good second half. Yerk both clutching up. First half, Gusky one of two. Yerk one of five. Totally different here in the second half. Shows why they're big time players. Well, North has shot considerably more free throws than De Pere. Husky gets that one to go. Seven point lead, good lead with three minutes left. Fire at the controls. North remaining in that zone defense. And another clear out by Vandenberg to catch the pass and he put it up and in. 50. 449. Uh -oh. Poydras with a nice steal. You don't see that very often. Puts it up and in, and he's fouled by Belmore. Don't make it worse by fouling. Give him the two. Uh. Belmore's fourth foul. There's 257 remaining, and uh, all of a sudden that lead could be down to two points with a made free throw. Right now it's 54-51. Just the third turnover by North and a half before. Oh. Now I'm a little concerned. But we're in bonus for each side. Next foul, each team will be shooting. Go, Devin. Go, Devin. Yurik off the glass and in. 56 52. Inside to Vandenberg, back cut by Pritzel. Where are you going, son? Tries to get it up and in, but couldn't. And then North there's ball. a jump ball situation. Good fight down underneath by uh, Francis. You know, Vandenberg, now we know Vandenberg's very good. You said he was the 10th ranked player in the state, but I'll tell you, he's a threat whether he's shooting it or passing it. Four point leads good with 2.30, it's two possessions. I like it on two possessions. Vandenberg still guarding Gusky. That's a tough matchup for Ethan. A little push by Poydras not called. Rolling down to 2.10. North up four. <laughs> and Poydras with the foul. Now we need some free throws again. And again, you know, uh, scouting goes, dear, who do you want to foul if you're to peer? I don't think I'm following 11. Fourth foul on uh, Jordan Poydras. And we get a timeout by DePierre, full timeout. 
We uh, made a decision yesterday to uh, not do the Green Bay East at Sheboygan South game. And I know that might upset some of our uh, South Side friends, but uh, we just felt that as a viewership, Sheboygan would rather be watching a couple of ranked teams in the state. Uh, De Pere, I think, is ranked fourth. North is number nine. And uh, it certainly proved to be an entertaining ball game, that's for sure, Chris. Yeah, it is. And uh, we're going to be following Lutheran a little bit more. It's not very often you get the 18th ranked you know, player in the country. <laughs> Mean in we haven't community. had that before here in Sheboygan. So we're going to do that as well. And, you know, we always try to follow teams. I mean, we've gone for years. We've traveled to, to uh, WI sites to follow any of the successful teams. And uh, we hope to continue that in the future with our new purchase. And hopefully we can do two more of those regionals and sectional games that we used to do in the past. I'm, you know, I'm looking forward. I hope we do more live games and all sorts of things and uh, things to come and, uh, you know, it's great that we have new opportunities with our uh, new trucks and things like that coming up. Well, getting ready to start action again. Yurik will be on the line now. Uh, he's uh, going to be shooting a bonus. He needs to make the first to uh, get the second. North is up 56-52. There's 2.07 left in the ball game. Yurik has 19 points. Oh, Chris, he couldn't make it. We're all right. Two-minute warning. Up by four. They're really packing in Vandenberg, which is the right thing to do. Poydras has now moved over to the corner, Chris. Bayer got it. He, well, yeah, they got it. He walked twice, but they did catch it the second time. Where are you going, son? Good pass. Guskey uh, playing it cool. Force that three-pointer up. Now with the lead and the ball. 140 remaining. That's not a good matchup outside for Coleman. North just takes their time. Back. Or they probably practice this all the time. This is what we want to be in. Belmore, good job of backing it back out. He saw Coleman underneath the basket. And uh, took it back out. Gusky, a high riser on that one, Chris. 110 left, up by four. Don't want to foul Yerk. Who are they going to foul? That's the guy. Coleman with a foul. Oh, pardon me, Vandenberg on the foul. For uh, Brett Vandenberg, I got him. That, that's his first foul, Chris. But that's what happens when you guard Gusky. You know, yep. He stands in a corner, and all of a sudden he moves, and you're not there. And he... Come on, Luke. Let's put one in here. Oh, man. I'll tell you, this is uh, going to kill him in the end, I'm afraid. Nope. Under a minute. Gusky almost a steal. No way. Vandenberg, oh. oh, rainbow shot, got her down. He's been tough. 56-54 north, Vandenberg with 20. I'll send Contra to the line this foul. time. Foul is going to be on Spencer Mokarski. And uh, again, north with free throw opportunities. Wow. Here has one timeout left. You know, we've seen this before, and I'm not just talking north, I'm just talking basketball in general, where your team has the lead, you make some free throws, and you win the ball game. And now we're seeing it where they're not making them. They'll have another opportunity here. I'll tell you, the Piers going to wish they had some of these timeouts. There's a long time to go, and you're going to need it, especially if north can hit free throws. That clock's going to be running, and you're not going to have opportunities to... Uh, Call timeout, there is no sense whatsoever. When the clock stopped, no sense calling timeout. You should have plays. I mean, if you are the fourth ranked team or sixth ranked team in the state, you don't have plays to run. You know, I was used to play, have plays that I just use in case I need them at the end of the game. We call them, you know, game winners. We call them money or something or, 
you know, you had plays that you worked on to, to set up to have situations, um, depending on where you are. But uh, when you're at a varsity level, you, you shouldn't be calling timeouts when the clock is stopped with 30, especially when you're down to one, one left. I hope that haunts them later. Yeah. North can I just stand out of bounds as it goes tick, tick, tick away. I just hope they can make some free throws here. Contra oh, on yeah. the line, they're up two. And he got it. 57-53. Another free throw makes it a two possession ball game. If I'm to peer, I'm going for two. I don't know what they're thinking, but we'll see what they decide here. Clock running, 30 seconds remaining in the ball game. Punching it up inside. Uh-oh, Pokarski, no good. Push off, not called. Vandenberg had it tipped away, Pokarski. Byers fouled, going for the fake was uh, Conter. And he came down hard, hopefully he's all right. 18 seconds left in the ball game. Good thing is you didn't give up a three. You did not give up the three. Fire will uh, be shooting the bonus, Chris, so he's got to make the first to get the second. Colts coming in. And uh, getting ready to check in is Evan Newhouse for uh, Bayer. Bayer's sitting with four fouls. You don't want to have him on defense. Yep. It's an inside. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a substitution based on the situation, situational substitutions. Now, this I don't, well, Marshall's a big kid, too. He's 6'2", but I would have kept yeah. Coleman out there in case there's a long rebound. What if he hits the first, misses the second, and you don't have your 6'6 kid on the floor? 57-55 North, and Desatel calls a 30-second timeout to uh, hopefully freeze the uh, shooter. You understand my point on the Coleman deal? Yep, I understand your point. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with you, though, because uh, you want to have the quicker guy on defense, and uh, fouls are not a situation with Coleman. He only has two. Well, you got 18 seconds left, so... You know. I was just thinking, though, they, they took some guys out of the ball game, but uh, right now Vandenberg sits with 20. Bayer has 14, a chance to bump it up to 15 with a made free throw. North is led by uh, Yerk with 19, and Gusky has 12. Jordan Poydras, not in the game right now, has double figures in points also. Yeah, he's just 4 of 14 shooting, Marty, and he's averaging 13. He can't throw it in the ocean today. That's all right. <laughs> we don't mind that. I was afraid that last three is going to make shoot up there was going to go in. Spencer Mokarski is on uh, Gusky way down on the other end. Uh, not that that matters. I don't think uh, Ethan will be chucking up any three pointers with North having the lead. By your shot, oh rolls no! Off. Marshall's shot is no good. Shot is up and in by Colts, and that ties it up. Who says you need the 6'6 guy? A box out, Marty. You know, probably what happened or threw Reed off is it hit the rim, the free throw, and it kind of bounced, bounced off, so he may have jumped too early. And when that happened, uh, I believe that Marshall kind of snuck in there. He threw it in and off like a brick, but unfortunately it went right to uh, actually the brick part was probably good because it bounced out long to one yeah. of his teammates and then Colts was able to put it in. A little surprising uh, that North called timeout. Traditionally Coach Desatel doesn't call timeout because he doesn't want the other team to so be able to set up their defense. And I always wonder why he doesn't call timeout so hopefully it's going to work the, to the better for him this time. I'm glad he's got him called timeout. I want my guy getting to the basket because I mean, if you can get Yerk to drive one to the basket, they're going to call one here. The nice thing, too, is you got a chance to just get it in, and then get it to uh, Yerk, and then let them bring it up. You, you've got 10.3 seconds, which is plenty of time. If I'm to peer, I'm standing in the zone. I'm not going to let him back to the basket, because I'll tell you what, Devin Yerk's going to get the ball here. 
There's no question in my mind that he's going to get there. He's too quick. Eight. Your shot is no good. Shoot it, Reed. Get in there. Shot is blocked out of bounds. And we're at the end of regulation. It's 57-57. We're going to overtime. Missed free throws by North down the stretch cost him. Well, Chris, how do you like North's chances now? Well, I thought they had this one, Marty, and I thought they could make a free throw and The killer was the missed free throw by De Pere. You know, they, they paid dividends for him. Yeah, <laughs> who would have thought? Time, yeah. yeah, and like I said, I think it just bounced off the rim funny, and Reed just Answer me get... this. Why are you pulling Coleman out of the game? <laughs> <laughs> <You got? laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I hear you. Good coaching move there. <laughs> by the way, Chris, uh, this soda tastes really good this time. Since you bought, thanks a lot. North just threw up seven. Well, no, they had uh, yeah seven that time. Eric Wiesman running the camera for us tonight. You going to be at the North South game too? Eric will be running camera at the North South game. We're in a one camera situation. I mentioned earlier about equipment being out for uh, refurbishing, and it hasn't come back yet. Uh, we're hoping to have our, our normal setup, multi-camera broadcast uh, after Christmas. North comes away with it. We're all tied at 57. Again, DePierre playing very good defense. Conter rolls it in. Nice soft touch by Reed Conter. He has eight points. North up two, 59-57. Dump down. Don't foul. Gusky went for the steal, couldn't get it. And uh, Vandenberg with the easy lay in, he has 22. Good risk reward there for Gusky. Got the lead, take a chance. Nice dump off. Shaq Francis for an easy two. Good job by Francis again. North still sitting in that zone. They've been in that uh, most of the uh, second half. I'll tell you, nobody on the pier wants the ball except Vandenberg. Poitras is so, so tough, is just ice cold. He's scared to shoot. Coleman's 6'6 six, six and a mile away. We like him out there. We started with a four minute overtime. We're down to uh, 230. North on top, 61-59. Three white shirts, great D, North, great D. Fire looking good, he's got it. Both teams two for two in the uh, overtime. One's a three by DePierre though. Yeah, they're up 62-61 on that three point attempt. Fire with the good defense. That could be his fifth. Gusky's wondering where's the foul, but uh, I thought it was pretty good defense by Bayer. Yeah, good no call. Yerk, and he was fouled, but no call. 63-62 North, 140 remaining in the ball game. Yerk has 21. I like him out there. I love him out there. Oh, Bayer was open, but good recovery by Reed Conter. Bayer trying to go baseline, does. They kick it out. Poitras under pressure, couldn't get it, but the offensive oh, rebound no. is up and in by Spencer Mokarski. Where has he been all game? 64-63, rolling down to a minute. The 
one point game. North three for three so far in the overtime. Gusky! Bang no! Oh baby! That was his deepest three of the night right there. He's had some other deep ones, but that one beat it at 66-64 North. Woo! Four of seven for threes tonight for Gusky. There you see it, 52.3 seconds remaining, North up two. Gusky with 15, York 21. Uh, Belmore. Belmore has got five. Francis with 10. Over on the other side, good balance over there too. Poitras 11. Byers 17. Vandenberg with 23. And Coleman with 10. Well, Norse had four trips with the basketball in overtime. They got four baskets. All right. De Pierce got three trips with the basketball, three baskets. Well, we better stop them here. Well, you need to stop. I'll tell you, that's a pretty bold shot by Ethan Gusky. You miss hey. that one, you're down, and I'll tell you that If you look at the, sh the foul situation too, Chris, North only has seven, so if they commit a common foul, they're going to have to Earn make the it. first to get the second. And they're down by two. That's uh, big time. What clutch performances in overtime. Four different players for North. Conter, Francis, Yerk, and Gusky with the big three. North continuing in the zone. Vandenberg in the post, but uh, he's getting doubled up. Byers was a little bit open on the baseline, but then they backed it out. North up two, rolling down to uh, 30 seconds. Byer a Four. throw off the glass and in. How'd that get in there, Marty? He chucked it up there. 20 seconds. This time just, so, just, just decides not to call timeout. Well, you don't want to do it now. Plenty of time. Rolling down. North will run it down for the last shot. Ten. How about it, Ethan? Gusky! Oh, no! Almost a steal! After the buzzer, the shot is no good. We're going into double overtime. How did that one not go in? <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> that one doesn't go in. The only trip that North didn't get points and it was crawling on the rim and didn't want to go down. We're getting set to do another four minute overtime here. You see it all tied up at 66. That number seven, that seven falls on North could pay dividends later on when uh, the pressure's on and DePier has to make free throws. Yep. and. Uh, Double bonus for North on that. Next fall, right. I think we made the right choice coming over here. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. Lots of games to cover in the season, but you don't get uh, ranked team number six to peer and ranked number team North on a Tuesday night here. Chris Wright, your play-by-play -play guy, our color guy, Mike Martin, the play-by-play -play guy, that's me. Eric Wiesman, uh, director camera. slash cameraman now. Well, now that Kerry Coutser left, Kerry, Kerry stuck around until halftime. He's our own CD. I think we might have been being evaluated that first half by him. Oh, is that what it was? Either that or fixing the mics with the headsets, I mean. Well, let's see uh, See who's got gas left. Let's see if Byers, you know, if I go at Byer too, maybe he'll foul out. He's got four fouls. And Belmore's got four fouls. Poitras has four also. So the pure in a little bit of uh, jeopardy in that respect. See if uh, he can jump the ball without getting called. Oh. Vandenberg controls the tap. Fire has it. North continuing in the zone. Poitras does not even look to shoot anymore, Marty. He's just been ice cold. I would still put pressure on his shot, though. I wouldn't just let him stand no, there. No, I agree with you. Chuck it up there. Miss. From 14. Ah. Nothing but net. 68-66 to Pierre. He was one for his last seven, and he hits that one. Well, he...
Vandenberg guarding Yurik, and uh, that's uh, not a good matchup for uh, Vandenberg. Yurik a little too quick for him. He only picks up his second foul. Double bonus time for North, so Devin gets two here. The Piers had five trips into two overtime. They've scored every time. North now on their sixth trip. The only thing they missed was Ethan Gusky's three, which I can't believe didn't go in. I told you you wouldn't get near the averages of 72 and 76, but <laughs> I guess we are. They're going to be over 70. Those two free throws uh, puts North at 13 for 26 at the line, Chris. That's not very good, but uh, hopefully they can survive with that poor free throw shooting. Well, as long as 11's there, things are okay. I believe all, he's only missed two of those 13. All tied up at uh, 68. Three minutes. This is where all that hard work and preseason running helps. Yurik knocked the ball away, but they're going to get the foul on someone from behind. It might be Conter. What's he going to do here? Two or one? He should get two. Third foul on Reed. Oh. One and one. Ho, ho, I told you. I told you. This is where the seven hopefully will pay off. It's eight now. Eight team falls for North. Rims out, and North comes away with the rebound. So they've got possession in a tie game. 2.45 left. Well, everybody was looking for Gusky to get that drive and pitch, but uh, blocked. And then a foul. Yurk picks up his third. Poydras will be at the line. And that was a ninth team foul on North, so uh, Poydras has got to make this first free throw to get the second, but anything after that, uh, both teams will be in the double bonus. Yep, they erased that advantage quickly, Marty. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. And I agree, that was an advantage. Because... Uh, 70 to 68, to pure up. 220. Gusky blocked out of bounds. Dusky wanted a foul on that, but uh, good job by Coleman. Keep attacking the basket. Keep atta attacking the basket. Belmore. Oh, no. Gets fouled. Did a good Ooh. job to get the ball back, and then when he tried to pass it in, that's when the foul occurred. And if that's on Poydras, that's his fifth. I think it's going to be on Vandenberg. His third. Well, Luke, you got to have a couple of free throws here, young man. Well, they just made baskets in the first overtime, Marty. It's all free throws in the second. We're down to 213. Sometimes guys become better free throw shooters when they mean more. Like now, down the stretch, a little bit more concentration, that type of thing. Good knee bend. And uh, pure on both of them. It's 70 to 70. 210 remaining. Bayer has it on top. North continue. Looks like they're in a man to man defense, Chris. Wow, interesting. Good change. Contra all over Vandenberg. Good defense by uh, Yurk on Bayer. Good person to foul. Good help defense that time. And out of bounds. North will get it. Rolled off of uh, Spencer Mokarski, Gusky and Francis applying the pressure. And the coach, Winchester, way out on the court, arguing the call. That could be a technical foul right there, Chris. Well, what he was asking there, how about a foul? He's going to get a timeout. 
How about a, a foul is what he was asking, but it started when Coleman lost the ball and it was up in the air, and then there was a lot of contact uh, on uh, between De Pere and North, and they didn't get a foul, and all of a sudden it rolls out of bounds, and back in favor of North. Fifteen for twenty-eight from the free throw line. North has been there a lot. I'll tell you that. So, uh, even though they're not making them like we'd like them to, that's been the difference in the game, I think. The pure shot seventeen. Made 10. That's not a real good shooting percentage either. 147 remaining in the game. We're all tied at 70. And uh, advantage slips back over by North. Another one of these great games early in the year, Chris. <laughs> Hopefully, we have some more to look forward to in the second half of the season. January and February get ahead of us. Belmore got it. He put it up over the defense and it dropped through. That was your definition of a teardrop. Going back into Vandenberg. Turns with his right hand and lofts it up there but couldn't get it to go but draws the foul. Conter picks up the foul, his fourth. It's all right. Contra playing tough, tough D. Good help D by uh, Francis there. He's gonna have to earn it though. A little more pressure when you're down here. He I hasn't been real solid at the line either, Marty. Oh, got the shooter's roll on that first one. I like that matchup. I thought uh, Coach uh, had a good matchup there with uh, Contra taking Vandenberg. Full timeout. We're sitting with 115 remaining in the second overtime. North on top, 72-71. When we uh, start action again, Vandenberg will be at the line shooting the second of two. Vandenberg and Yurk are uh, tied as leading scorers in the game with 23. Gusky and Poydras are tied at second leading scorers with 15. I have North just one of three shooting here in the uh, overtime. It appears the same, one of one of one, one of one shooting. They missed a free throw before, which hurt yeah, them. And you know that started the overtime too. Poydras is a jump shot just inside the yep. circle. North has been stellar from the line in the second over, actually in both overtimes are four for four, although all four are coming in the second overtime. Be interesting to see who'll be the first to fall out. Brandenburg got it, got that one in. Minute 15 left, we're uh, tied up. Knotted again. Vandenberg not allowing uh, Yurk to get the ball. Under a minute. Gusky being guarded by Bayer. That's been a good matchup for uh, Bayer. He's uh, really put the clamps on uh, Ethan. 50 seconds left. Nobody wants to commit a foul. Allowing Francis to get it out on the court. And again, uh, Yurk has not touched at this possession. 40. Don't think about it, Luke. 30. <laughs> 25, Shaq Gordon. Gusky took a swipe at it, but he missed it. Thank we're, goodness. Ah, uh, yeah. And that fan on the sideline, I think. Tape near end. Gusky, 20 seconds.
Timeout North with 14.4 uh, seconds left. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. Whether you ride a bike or drive a car, you must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians at marked and unmarked crosswalks. At intersections, always look for pedestrians before making a turn and slow down in school zones and neighborhoods to keep our kids safe. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. And back at North High School, Eric, uh, game has taken so long he had to put tape number two in the uh, camera. Tape number three. But this one, I was getting kind of nervous time because there was a <laughs> little alert sign on our monitor, tape near end, <laughs> and Chris is Get that tape out before the game starts. <laughs> all right, 14.4 seconds left. We're all tied at 72. North with the possession. Yerk has not touched it yet. 12. 10. 10. <laughs> Francis looking to take Coleman one-on-one. -on -one. Good block. Shot from half court is no good, and we're going to overtime number three. Back at North High School where uh, we're all tied at 72, getting ready to start overtime number three. In uh, the first overtime, both teams scored nine points on all baskets. In this uh, second overtime just completed of the uh, 12 points scored by the two teams, six of them were, pardon me, eight of them were on free throws. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in this uh, third overtime. Well, I didn't like the way that ended there, Marty. They had a plan, and they it fell up. Well, that was a bad toss. <laughs> hey, we'll take it. <laughs> but uh, you're right, just one basket each. You know. Belmore, what a good move. Overlaid. Francis forcing it. Got it in. Oh, baby. Forced it up, but it went in. North on top, 74-72. Francis with 12 points. North, back in the zone, Chris. Good mix-up. They just go to Vandenberg every time. He's got to be getting tired. Well, one of the things, Poydras, shot is no good. Vandenberg comes away with the board, had it tipped away, but was able to gather it back in. Poydras again, not bashful, and they're going to get Coleman. Over the back, Francis will be going to the line. You know, another amazing thing about this ball game is nobody has fouled out, yet we have yeah. uh, three people on the floor with uh, four fouls. Boyders, five of 18 tonight. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a long night for him, for sure. Well, you know, I think we mentioned this in the last uh, broadcast we did with North. If you watch uh, Shaq Francis' knees, he's shooting with locked knees when he releases the ball. He bends them a little bit, and then he locks them up, and well, more got of a that flick. second one to go right. Yeah, it's more of a flick, and that's going to be good sometimes, but... Uh, Not consistently. Nope. 75-72, North up three. That's big. Bayer on top. He's been uh, dangerous out there. He's sitting with 19 points. Wolkarski on the wing. Bayer nails a three. Cold blooded. 75 all. He's got 22 oh, points. Oh, there was a travel by Devin. I was so unorthodox, he didn't know. Maybe I was wrong. 
Shaq feeling it in its overtime. Fillmore got it in. 77-75. I like the fact that North's getting contributions from different people. You're right, they can't concentrate on one guy. You know, Vandenberg's like everything for them. And nope. it seems like... Uh, Byer's been pretty tough, Chris, with yeah, 24. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's going to be four on Yerk. But, you know, that's still just four. Well, it also forces the, uh, the pure player to have to make two free throws. Yep. And there, I mean, he's, this is a lot of basketball. This is going to be tough making free throws. It's tougher and tougher. How, how are you doing? He's still clutch. He's looking pretty good here in the overtimes with his free throw shooting. North up by one, 77-76. Get the rebound here, boys. Hi. I just don't understand this. Pierre keep calling time out. Maybe to give Yerka it. Yurk coming up limping there, Chris, going back to the uh, huddle. He could be cramping up, Marty. He could be cramping up. I think it's his right thigh. I think both legs. Like, right I, I think calf. he's cramping. One fifty-nine remaining in the uh, third overtime at 77-77. You see Chris Lenz working on uh, Yerk's uh, leg. Water, 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 water. Wow. <laughs> what a game. Alec Menning coming in. Looks like Yerk is not going to start. The, they're going to be out there when they start action. You know, you know what the other thing is? Quality of play, Marty. You know, overtime. You know, we look at the way they started with all the turnovers. You know, you just haven't had that the last uh, one in three overtimes. Yeah. One, and that was on Coleman in the corner over there. Clutch free throws. Uh, you know, nobody panicking. Actually, Back and forth. Uh, Shaq Francis came out. Uh, Yurk with tight calf is uh, still on the court. And now Chris Lenz is working on Shaq Francis. Uh, who's going to help bring the ball up here? Oh, they got all kinds of guys. Okay, that's who they select. Okay, and Luke. Not under pressure. Belmore brings it up, which is uh, kind of nice. He's been going to the basket, Luke. Him and Francis here in his third overtime. Gusky being guarded closely by Bayer. They're not going to give him any open looks. Yeah. Good switch to Vandenberg's got three fouls, Byers got four, so he should be out on a perimeter shooter. Minute and a half, tie game. Well, Byer <laughs> guarding him all over. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh. Ball on Contry, was a little late getting there. Ball was tipped away from Belmore for uh, Reed Contry, that'll be number five. Yep, Shaq come right back in. He was cramping up a little bit too. Oh, Luke. Excuse me, uh, Reed Conter, outstanding basketball game. Eight points, but the defense that he did on Vandenberg, you know, that's a task. I mean, that is a serious task in the post and uh, did very well. I agree. I thought he played an excellent game. I thought that was a great matchup that uh, coach uh, had for this uh, game. They've been money on the free throws, Chris. I got them for uh, eight in a row, or pardon me, seven in a row, looking for number eight. I'll tell you, he hasn't made many shots, but he's clutch at the free throw line. 79-77 to pure up. One thing that the pure has done in the overtimes pretty much is cut off the driving lanes. Get in there, Luke. Shot is good, and he's fouled. 
You see how you do that, Chris? You tell them you can't drive to the basket, then they drive and even get fouled. I mean, yeah. I, I think I ought to get an assist for that. Well, I liked, I've liked i liked him in his third overtime. He's been very aggressive, just waiting for the moment. He's done it a couple times, and that time he got deep enough and drew the fourth foul on Coleman. Use that speed over that size. Too hard. Oh, another missed free throw, Marty. 79 all, under a minute. Poydras kicks it up to Marcos. <laughs> now they got a chance to hold it. Oh, and DePierre's gonna call timeout Mark. again. My gosh, you guys. You got the ball at 48 seconds. There's a long time to go. Long time to go. Yeah, I don't understand that either, Chris. Bobby Knight would say, when he was coaching at Indiana, is when you call a timeout like this, now you gotta get the ball back inbound. Yep, yep. You know, it's not just, let them play. Yep. Look what happened when uh, North had it with 14 seconds left in the last overtime. They were set up a play for, or I don't know which overtime they've been going together here. They tried to get into York the and second they one, The end of the second one. Yeah. And they couldn't. Right, They exactly. couldn't. All of a sudden now Shaq's got the ball out in mid court. Well, we planned on York getting the ball, so now what are we going to do? And there he stood, and then uh, time's running. Um, sometimes it doesn't always work out the way you think. And the way North knows exactly how you run your out-of-bounds plays here, maybe they can get a little tap and a pick here. That would be sweet. We haven't had one of those in a long time. De Pierre's uh, handled the ball very, very well. Chris had mentioned one one turnover in uh, the three overtimes so far. Well, we just had that one on uh, Belmore, so two, two, Marty, but you're but right. still, it's been very, very well played. Very outstanding and, uh, analysis there, Marty. Good, good to see, especially for how long they've been playing. It was a lucky guess, Chris. Oh, well, <laughs> 12 extra minutes of basketball, that's... Wokarski's gonna trigger the inbounds and the buyers left alone to uh, get it. Ethan either kind of winched there. Oh, I knew he was gonna throw it over there. I think North is in a man-to-man, -man, but I'm not yep. sure. Looks that way. I say yes. Rolling down to uh, the 35 second mark left. The Pier will run it down and take the last shot. I hope they get trapped somewhere and they don't have a timeout left. 25. Long time, 20. Shaq's got four fouls. Yerk's got four fouls. Belmore, four fouls. Rolling down to the 10 second mark right now. Pick and roll. Francis. Shot inside the lane, drains it. Timeout North with 2.7 seconds left. Vandenberg, dead on. I'll tell you, that's probably the shot you wanted him to take, more from the free throw line. He hit one like that before, Marty, but uh, that was really, really clutch. And, uh, well, Matt Bain's just asking the official, we get it on the baseline, North does, and they'll be able to run it so they don't have to just stand in one spot. But uh, 2.7 seconds left, you'd like to catch the ball going towards the hoop. Well, what I'd like him to do, if you could, Possibly catch it at half court, call timeout. Make the officials aware, make the clock people aware. We're gonna throw it to half court and we're calling timeout. Don't be afraid of that because then you shorten up your, your situation. I'd kind of try to run a roll or something, screen to the opposite side because uh, 2.7, you, you can't travel that far, you're right. So, you know, I try to get some kind of play where I'm catching it at half court where I can call timeout and you still have a second left where you can get, you know, a shot, a pass in and a shot. But we'll see what they do. But I, you always make the officials aware of what you're doing. But uh, we'll see how DePierre plays it and see how North plays it. You want a guy with a good arm here. Chetty's got a good arm. We saw him throw some halfback passes, so we'll see how this works. Vandenberg guarding Yurk. That's a key matchup. And Bayer again guarding uh, Gusky, which is uh, probably advantage De Pierre on those two guys, I would think, especially with the height advantage by Bayer over Gusky. Well, De Pierre made a good decision there by watching to see what North was going to do there. I'm telling you, I try to do something where I clear everybody to one side of the floor, and since he's right-handed, I'm kind of throwing to the opposite, towards the opposite from where we're standing, and try to catch something over there in that corner, catch it, and you're calling timeout. You'll still have a second and a half 
But uh, Tough time to get a good shot off. Yeah, or since he's right-handed, maybe have him start where uh, Todd is standing with the ball, have him run to the right and catch it in front of the scorer's table. Just like he is right there. And uh, what I'm doing here is trying to catch him, pull all my guys going one way, and so Ethan's going to the opposite way and try to catch it here, do something to that effect. That's what I'm doing. Belmore uh, taking uh, Gusky's spot in the deep corner. Gusky's up at half court. Yurik, Gusky, Belmore, Francis, and Menning on the court for North. You don't want to get it to Francis up where he is. You want to get it to one of your guards. Shot at the buzzer by Yurik. Oh, rims out. A three-point attempt by Yurik. Hit the rim and rimmed out. The pier comes away with a triple overtime. 81-79 win. Oh, man. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what, I learned a lot about North tonight. They, uh, they earned their oats today and uh, very well could have won this game. Very well played by Sheboygan North and the pier. And uh, Yerk is cramping up still. But uh, tough, tough loss. Outstanding basketball game, Marty. Vandenberg ended up with 28, Bayer had 22 for North. Uh, Yerk had 23, Gusky 15. Belmore and Francis had 13 each. Uh, our next broadcast is going to be uh, December 17th, Saturday, when uh, South comes over here to uh, North Security Fieldhouse to uh, play the North-South game. First game, the girls varsity at six, boys to follow. Uh, for Eric Wiesman on camera, my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road. I hope you enjoyed this WSCS Instant Classic. We mentioned the importance of free throws. What was really depressing is that missed free throws at the end of regulation and at the end of the third overtime cost North. The Raiders would go on to lose to the Redbirds two more times and in neither of those games did North have the chances they had in this game. DePierre would go on to win conference with a 16-0 record but lose to Germantown in the D1 playoffs. Germantown would go on to win the state title. Our next Classics game has South hosting Beaver Dam in a non-conference football game from 1998 that features the rushing of Nate Bergaman in a classic you won't want to miss. Until then, thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you down the road. There are many games that we would love to show but no longer have. If you have a copy of a game that you think could be a classic, please get in touch with WSCS TV at 920-459-6663 and maybe we can get that game into our next classic series.